Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and I like to share the postcards that I receive from postcrossing.com. Not only do I have the official postcards this week, but just like every other week I also have postcards that are from round robins and direct swaps. So this week was a pretty good week. I received several official postcards. I didn't count them, but there's a lot there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine postcards that are official postcards um, from this past week. And what's really interesting is that I didn't have any duplicate countries and I didn't have any from Germany, which is so unusual. Um, Germany, the writers there, they are just prolific. And so I didn't receive any from Germany. But anyway, let's get started. I've got some really beautiful ones to be able to share with you this week. So the first one that I have comes from Poland. And this postcard is a postcard of the, it is a museum um, that celebrates coal miners that have lost their lives while coal mining. Isn't that an interesting card? That's a museum. And so when I responded back, it, um, her name was, I think it was Kristen, and she mentioned, um, oh, she was talking about this, and I told her that both my great-grandfather and my great-uncle were coal miners um, in England, and both, both of them um, died early as a result of coal mining, but were not killed in like mines or anything like that, but they had lung and heart issues from breathing in all of that coal dust. So I loved this card, and of course, let me show you the stamp. Thank you so much for that card. The next card came from Great Britain, and on my profile, I say I love dogs and I love sloths. And so this one came from Duncan in Great Britain, and Duncan said me that this was a combination of a dog and a sloth, and I just loved that. And let me show you the stamps on that. There's a King Charles stamp right there in the center. Thank you so much, Duncan. That was a wonderful card, and it made me laugh. The next card came from Japan, and this came from Ayumi. And Ayumi was on vacation and was taking one of the overnight sleeper trains and bought this postcard at one of the stops and sent this to me. Isn't it lovely? I love that beach. And so let me show you the stamps. So adorable. Thank you, Ayumi. Isla sent me the next card, and it's one of the Inge Look little old ladies. I've also seen them referred to as the aunties. And don't they look like they're just having a blast? I hope that when I am their age, which I feel like I'm not too far away, that I am just as happy as them. And it is this stamp right here from Finland. I don't think I mentioned that this card was from Finland, but this one's from Finland. So thank you very much for that card. Um, Martin sends the next card, and this one comes from the Czech Republic. And I love traditional dress. And so this is a card, of course, of very traditional dress. And I was looking at all of that work there. And I wonder if that is a fabric or if that is hand sewn onto there, you know, almost like cross stitch or embroidery or something. Absolutely gorgeous. And let me show you the postcard from the Czech, or not the postcard, the stamp from the Czech Republic. Very nice, thank you so much, Martin. The next card came from India. This came from Reshma. And again, think about traditional dress. And this is a shopping center that sells like all of the saris. Isn't that gorgeous? Like I would have a field day in there shopping. 
But what's really nice about this card as well is that he, he sent it to me on International Yoga Day. And look at the cancellation. It is International Day of Yoga. So there is a special cancellation just for that day. So thank you for that card. I love it. I really need to get back into my yoga. I keep saying that. But a friend yesterday inspired me, and so I'm going to get back into doing yoga. The next card comes from China. And look at those cute fish there with the little girl. And the fish in the center has a gold star. So, so adorable. And I responded back, um, this person was did not sign it um, but I responded back that one of these days I'd love to be able to talk to the fish like that <laughs> and let me show you all of the stamps on that absolutely wonderful so thank you for that card the next card came from Karam and this is from Australia and it is a maxi card and so this is um, an organism. Can you find it? It's right here. See the antenna sticking out? Isn't that fabulous camouflage? So they're able to camouflage themselves um, on this, uh, this material here, this tree material, just like leaves. Very cool, eh? <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for that card. And then the last card that I received came from Russia, and I've covered up my address. It came in an envelope, so let me show you the stamp. But what was really neat about this, so I love handmade cards, and one of the crafts that I have not done for a very long time is cross-stitch. So this card came from Irina, and look at this. It's a pup of tea, and it is hand cross-stitched. Now, I know cross-stitch because I did it for years and years and years. This would have taken at least a couple of hours to do. So Irina, thank you so much for this amazing card. I have uh, some of my favorite cards, ones that were hand drawn for me um, that I've got hanging up um, on a wall and I'm going to hang frame and hang this one as well. So thank you, Arena. I love that. The next cards, these are round robin cards. So let me share these with you. The first one comes from Gabby. And this is uh, a fledgling artist, she says. Isn't that adorable? Look at that sandcastle on the beach. I want to be there right now. <laughs> so thank you, Gabby. Charisse sends the next card. And I love blueberries. And look at that. It's like a blueberry cheesecake. It looks absolutely delicious. The next card comes from Mickey. The coast is clear. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. You all know how much I love the beach. So let's get going. Patty sends the next card, and it is a woman in science. This is Dorothy Hodgkin, uh, a biochemist and crystallographer. So we do a lot. Um, you might not think that you can see through rocks, but you actually can. And I'm a geologist by training. And we are able to make thin sections of rocks. We take a slice of rock and we grind it down really thin on a slide. And we can see through it to see what the minerals are inside of that rock. So this reminded me of that. So thank you so much for that card. The next card comes from Mark. And it is um, the Tower of London. I've been here several times, but it never gets old. This card got eaten up and bent really badly in the mail, but I love that card. And of course you can see Tower Bridge back there in the background. Oh, and a double-decker bus. 
I love double deck vases. The next card comes from Marcella, and Marcella sends me this great card. This is from the American Girl Store. Congrats, you did your very best. Love that. So summery. <laughs> the next card comes from Kathy, and this is a castle in Scotland. It is, uh, sorry, it is Eileen Donan Castle. Isn't that gorgeous? I just keep feeling like my next vacation, I think I want to go to Scotland. I haven't made up my mind fully yet, but I'd like to go to Scotland and I'd like to go to Wales. And at that point, I would have visited all of the, um, the areas in Great Britain uh, because I've been to Ireland and I've been to England several times. So I'm thinking about maybe Wales and Scotland next. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, the next card comes from Joe. And Joe was in Chicago and went to um, some of the uh, art area, the art museums there. And she said that they didn't stay for very long because Taylor Swift was in concert there. And the whole area was just teeming with people and it was very overwhelming apparently. And I've heard that about Taylor Swift concerts. So thank you for that card, Joe. I love it. This is, by the way, all different fabrics that are put together. Isn't that gorgeous? So thank you. And then Mary Ellen sends the last card and this is a wonderful scene of these are houseboats um, in the bay and I shared with her that a couple of years ago during the pandemic 2021 I think it was I actually rented a houseboat down in Houston and it was a lot of fun and the pier culture um, you know, everybody who lives on their boats full time, we're all out partying and here I was just coming in for a week of vacation and they just took me in as one of their own. So it was a lot of fun. So, yeah. All right. So the last set of postcards that I have, these are direct swaps. And so the first one that I have is this wonderful post crossing card from that dad guy and that dad guy's channel is linked down below please do go visit him and so this was one of the um meetups that he went to not too long ago where they combined some geocaching stuff and also post crossing the other thing is that um, he used his new label maker, which was fun, but then he also included, because he's part of the unicorn gang, so look at my unicorn. <laughs> so thank you for that card, Rob. I really appreciate it. I, I've been watching your videos and also Jilly's videos, and I've sent you guys several postcards. I keep a track of it, um, but they haven't been received yet, so you should be getting a whole bunch of them fairly soon, I hope. So... The next card comes from Leave, and Leave also went to one of the um, meetups, and this was a high tea meeting. I love high tea, Leave. Invite me next time. I want to go with you. Isn't that gorgeous? And let me show you the stamp. So much fun. Please invite me next time, Leave. <laughs> The next card comes from Lewis, and Lewis is in the process of moving from um, Dubai back to Spain, to Madrid. And so this was a card that he sent. Now, this was included in one of the plastic envelopes, so it got here just fine. So thank you for that card, Lewis. I always love getting cards from you. Make sure you share your new address with us as soon as possible. The next set of cards comes from Jilly. Jilly is also a very prolific writer. Um, and it, this is the first card that I received. This, of course, is a maxi card with the um, otter there on the front and the otter stamp. And, of course, Jilly is the leader of the um, unicorn gang. She's the first one that started it. And so she included a unicorn there, but she was not done. She also got the new Disney Villains box, and so she sent me Ursula, who's probably one of my most favorite villains, but I'm sure you understand why for the job that I do. Um, and so she sent me this wonderful card out of there. Here's what's so interesting, Jilly, is that there's no stamps. It came without the stamps. <laughs> So somewhere they got 
they fell off somewhere at some point. So thank you for that card. I absolutely love it. <laughs> but it still made it. Still made it. She wasn't done there. Jilly also got some new cards. I love this dog. Oh, isn't it absolutely adorable? So I love this. And Jilly, again, is so great at decorating everything. Look at that fun unicorn right there. Oh my gosh. I love it. I just love it. But she's just really good at decorating. So thank you, Jilly. She wasn't done there. <laughs> Jilly also sent me a, um, a, an envelope, and I'm going to cover my address like this. Uh, I meant to put a sticker on there, but didn't. Um, and so we are Team Unicorn, right? And of course, we've got the Little Mermaid and everything marine. And so in this envelope, she sent to me, okay, wanted to make sure I had everything. She sent to me this wonderful sticker, of course, of Cinderella, Strong at Heart. She also sent me these stickers of the Little Mermaid. It all started with a dream. And sometimes I think that about my life and my career that I dreamed at some point that I would do what I do um, and here I am doing it. I tell people all the time I knew by the age of five that I wanted to be a scientist and so I've made it. I'm a scientist. So I love those. Julie also included a small note that is just for me, okay, um, but some more stickers. Aren't they cute? Love those stickers. And then she sent me a couple of the cards that she thought that I would like out of the Disney Villains series. Love that. Purple's my favorite color, so I love that. And I'm not always good with films. This one comes from Sleeping Beauty. And then the next one comes from The Little Mermaid. There we are, there's Ursula. Oh, she's such a good, wicked villain. <laughs> Love her. The next one is Cinderella, and of course, this is the wicked stepmother. Everybody would recognize her. And then the last one comes from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, such a good, good villain. So thank you for that, Jilly. You are always so kind and so generous, and I really appreciate that. So the last items that I have come from May. Oh, and by the way, Jilly's channel is linked down below. Please do go show her love. She, she not only does postcards, but she also does Timu hauls. I haven't succumbed to the Timu haul yet. I have so many supplies that I just feel like, no, I don't need any more. Um, on my trip to California, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, I bought over 200 postcards. I don't need any more postcards. <laughs> anyway, so um, the last set of postcards came from May, and the reason I thought about the channel is because May also has a channel, and May's channel is linked down below, so please do go visit her as well. So this card that I received, I just received this yesterday from May, and isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous dancing scene? Now, one of the things that May said in on the back of her card was that postage was about to go up and she was going to have to pay more for postage to send things. And I totally understand that. Um, and I'll tell you a story here in just a moment. But one of the things that I always love, May does write with me videos, and look at the hello that she put there. I love watching her write her hello. And it's always just so much fun to receive it. Um, so May, you're just so talented. I just love everything that you do. 
So one of the things I was going to say before I share my last thing from May was that the other day I went to the post office and I was going to mail off something small and just like one of those very thin, small, um, puffy envelopes and I was going to mail it out and it was going international. That small, puffy envelope, they wanted $19.50 to mail that. That's ridiculous. Inside was about a dime's worth of paper of something that I had made. It wasn't even thick. Then I had another package that I was going to mail at the same time, also international. And it was the, the cost. It was something that I had gotten for free that I just thought somebody else would like. It was $30. $30 to send it out. And so like, I just can't afford that. Um, so, you know, I just don't know what this postal service is thinking. That is absolutely ridiculous. So for those of you who very often swap items with me, I just want to let you know that the things that I'm going to be making have to fit in an envelope to be able to send it now because I just don't have that kind of money. Um, I don't even know what that would be in like British pounds or euros or anything, but it's insane. Absolutely insane. So anyway, so the last uh, thing that I received was also from May. And May sent me a little package with all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things in it. And May, I will be putting together um, a package to go back to you as well. Um, I'll be working on that this week. So the first thing that May sent me was a variety of washi tapes and we always send washi tape back and forth to each other so I love that. And then she also sent me some really cool stickers that look like stamps. There's that one. Look at that humpback whale. Isn't that awesome? Oh, be still my heart. And she also sent me these wonderful, wonderful stickers. I'll be using those. She sent me a lovely dog card. <laughs> so adorable. And again, let me just show you. Because she does such a beautiful job. Look at her. Hello. I love it, May. I always love looking and seeing that on yours. She also sent this wonderful recipe card, and you can follow the recipe right here. But she also wrote it out for me a little bit on the back. And let me show you, there's her hello again. So thank you, May. And she also included two postcards that I can use. Isn't she great? Gorgeous. Oh, just lovely. And then the last postcard that she sent was this postcard with a variety of American stamps on there. And May also always includes all of her items in these little bags that have like little smiley face clouds on them and different things. And she just, May, you just do things so lovely just so lovely. So I hope you will all go and see um, May's channel and also um, please go visit with Jilly's channel and Rob that dab guy. So Jilly, Rob and I are the unicorn gang. So and for those of you out there like Leave and for um, Lewis, we would love at some point if you would start your own channels as well. We would love to see the postcards that you, you receive. So with that, that's all that I have for today. I want to thank you for sticking with me. We are at 25 minutes. I'm sorry for the length of that. But I had so many beautiful things that I wanted to share with you. So I hope that you will come back again next week to see the postcards that I've received. I have sent out a lot of postcards this week. So I hopefully will be getting a whole bunch of postcards coming back in soon. So until I see you again, please stay safe. I want you to be happy and have a very happy post-crossing day. Bye for now.